It's getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about a big-time recruit, a defensive lineman out of the state of Georgia. Listen, he is a five-star prospect, somebody that we really, really, really need going into that Big Ten. He's going to be here this weekend. His name is Edric Houston um, out of the state of Georgia. We're going to take a look at him, man. Look, he got five visits lined up, and USC is one of them. He has USC, uh, Clemson, Georgia, Ohio State. And Alabama as his five visits. USC is going to be the first one. That's going to be this weekend, man. So, look, it's only popping. It's only cracking. It's straight up go time, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. We're going to take a look at this film real quick. Take a look at this footage. Um, he's a big boy, six foot five. So, excuse me, six foot three, uh, 255 pounds. And, uh, look, I think he's going to be more so like a, you know, when you talk about our defensive scheme, it's a possibility he may be more of the D tackle opposed to the nose tackle spot. Or maybe even like the Anthony Lucas, maybe even come and play a little bit of defensive end. So we'll take a look at his film real quick. We'll look at his information. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Let's go. All right, here is Houston right here. And you'll see him here lined up at the, uh, looks like the D tackle position. And uh, look, he is number zero. And if, I want you guys to really pay close attention to the defense that they're running. They're running a 3-3, the same defense we're running, a 3-3-5. And so he's very familiar with that defense. And not only that, he's very familiar with Coach Noah. I want to give you guys some words uh, that he said about Coach Noah. But look, he's 6'3", 255, and he's rated a four-star prospect. He's actually rated the number four D-line in the country. Uh, number 14 player nationally, number four in the state of Georgia. So, look, I, I need you guys to hit me in the comment section on this. Um, I'm going to give you some of his information as well as far as athletic ability. Pay attention to number zero. Um, he's very athletic, uh, penetrates very well, and, look, has the ability to be a special. He's one of those players, man, that could be a generational player. Um, and according to a scouting report, he's a high-effort point-of-attack defender uh, with a moldable frame. And, look, he has a seven- foot wingspan um he racked up 10 sacks last season 15 quarterback hurries uh and that all that was as a junior man so look he can also play also play um in the three inside as a three technique so look you guys hit me in the comment section you guys tell me what you think about him he is a penetrator of all penetrators and you see him here look at these i want you to look at some of these offensive line that he's playing against he's playing against some absolute big boys um i think that the fact that USC is included in this and some of the comments that he had to make to, uh, about Coach Newell was very, very telling. And we're going to get to some of that real quick because Coach Newell right now is, is beginning to set the standard as far as how these players are being recruited. And I think a lot of people are now respecting him on a whole nother level. So we'll take a look at that real quick. And so these are some of Houston words when he made reference to Coach Newell. He said, look, he said he's a great coach. He said that he's going to be able to develop me. I've seen that from a little bit of practice film he's shown me. He says, especially with his NFL experience, he's going to be able to tell me what to do to, uh, to get into position to play on Sunday. So he's already kind of scouted Coach Nua out for himself. And as a result, this guy, it, it, look, he's taking a trip to USC. And the fact that he's playing in the 3-3-5 right now, I think that speaks very, very well uh, for USC and uh, what they could potentially do with them, being that we already use this type of scheme. Uh, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. He's coming this weekend. Big-time prospect, number four D lineman overall in the state of, well, nationally. So, look, hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think about Houston. All right, is it go time or is it go time? Is it on the popping or is it on the popping? Listen, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Listen, Bear Alexander 
really set the standard. Bear Alexander, guys like Anthony Lucas, they really set the standard and said, look, it's okay. We're going we're gonna to make this transition over to this USC defense, and we're going to be the cause of that defense to be a next-level defense. And a guy like this, he can add to that, man. I think a guy like this can get in there, fit in there, and uh, look, you guys, you already know we got the guys like Braylon Shelby, those guys that hadn't even came in yet, Elijah Hughes, and then David Peavy, those guys. And I'm telling you, man, our defense can be powerful. And uh, look, so this is the guy we got coming in for this weekend. It's go time with him, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. Drop in your comment section. What do you guys think about him? How do you see him playing? Anthony Lucas style, Keon Barr style. He's already 255. He's only a junior in high school. And so, look, you can imagine he's, only, he's probably going to be pick up at least another 10, 15 pounds before he even gets it to USC, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. You guys already know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. And listen, don't forget to make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen. Fight on, fight on, fight on.